making a video uh, for Brad Jacobs, aka Basement Shop Guy. Um, he had posted a comment on my uh, um, video about the, the Harbor Freight uh, segmented belt drive that I did on here uh, and asked about uh, whether it was you know too noisy, whether the spindle was being noisy and uh, I don't know for some reason it came across as being louder than it was I think. I'm gonna try it again here, do a test. I mean it, it's pretty buttery smooth. There's a, there's a pretty good reason for that. Um, I did uh, replace the uh, all the bearings and the spindle and uh, bearings, if you're ever having to replace the bearings in the closing 8520, I was told that these were actually the uh, only set remaining, like the last new old stock um, set. So this is the, the end bearing, that's just the top bearing, and then these are the angular contact bearings. But if anybody should ever um, need to replace theirs on their closing 8520, here's I'll let you cross-reference these. They've got that blacked out, but we all know how to... <clears throat> excuse me, I got a cold. We all know how to use the cross-reference on these bearings. So just go to your charts and look up that number. That's your top bearing, and then the angular contact bearings are... It's a match pair here. So you should be able to find yourself a pair of those. And to lube them up, uh, actually, I use a thing called uh, Kluber Grease. I don't seem to be able to find it right now. I thought I had it on hand, but uh, it's Kluber Grease is the proper grease to use on those bearings. So anyways, that was what I was told by my friend Jan uh, John Benario, who has also one of these uh, nice little 8520s and told me how to rebuild them or you know help me on the path while I was getting started here. Uh, also, just another addition to the 8520, I, um, it did come with a power feed and uh, the, the little knob was missing so I made in a little little aluminum knob for it. It works really well. Um, down is disengaged and up is engaged and uh, to my mind the feed is reversed but I guess I could rewire that if I really felt like it. But yeah it's pretty it's a great little machine still uh, love it. You know, I, I do have a, a larger uh, MSC Nemail Bridgeport clone as well, but this thing is most of the time all I need, so um, I find this is my go-to machine 90% you know, of the time if I just need to do something real quick. It's so uh, easy to set up and such a handy size to use. There's no real reason to uh, go over the big mill, so anyways, hope this helps somebody out. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. Yeah, comment as well. Appreciate you trying to help.